So hello friends welcome back to the ROM card. Today I will review the AOSPA unofficial build which is based on Android 13 for Realme 6785 devices. So this is the ROM. In the first look you will notice that in the quick setting there is slight animation is added and the UI is really smooth. You can see the UI is really smooth and there is a valid reason for that you will get nothing in this rom i mean there is no customization literally in this rom let's get started by jumping into the settings so in network and internet you can see all the options are stock there is no customization option like network traffic indicator or something like that in connected devices there is nothing of course in battery you will get battery percentage which is useful and no extra option except that now in sound and vibration all the options are stock there is nothing added extra in vibration and haptics you can control the vibration and the vibration works fine there is no weak vibration problem that is actually fixed in the previous roms in wallpaper and style you will get the system font here you get some options the system icon pack and the app grid in the change wallpaper you will get on device wallpapers and this has some cool wallpapers so you can choose from them or you can open the abstract which is the wallpaper application in this rom here you can choose from oneplus wallpapers then osp official wallpapers then something like this so it has very cool options for wallpapers but you cannot uninstall the wallpaper application only if you go to the app info you can disable it and in this rom there is no option for pausing an app you can see when i hold an app there is no option to pause so that is a good option for battery saving but this rom does not have it although there is no such extra application in this rom but there is two cameras inbuilt in this rom the first one is the gcam go where you will get the snapchat implementation and the video mode now in the photo mode there is no option for auxiliary cameras now the second camera is lineage camera in the lineage camera there is also no option for auxiliary cameras you get option for the grid timer the screen ratio and the settings but i have installed the gcam vichaya on this build and i am not facing any problems now let's get back to the settings now in the security we have screen lock and the good thing is it also has the face unlock so let's register the face unlock and see the speed and you also get some options like unlock your phone verify that it's you in the applications so let's see the speeds now so the face unlock speed is like this and talking about the fingerprint the fingerprint speed is like this here because of animation it may look slow but it is not in the more security settings we get smart lock sim card lock etc in the system we get the gestures in gesture navigation we have these options we don't have any option to hide the gesture pill of course then we have swipe to screenshot playback control quick torch the screen of gestures and one handed mode which is working fine you can see the screen is also not flickering then you get the multiple users now in the about phone you can see this rom is based on android 13 and the security update is of 5 june the kernel is lineage and this is not the stock kernel although the stock kernel is also lineage but this is the kernel su implemented kernel and i am using the kernel su and it's working so as the stock kernel is lineage kernel i will not show by installing that although i used the stock kernel for two to three days now and i am reviewing with respect to that kernel now let's talk about some performance here when i used this kernel which is the kernel issue implemented lineage kernel i got this performance without using any script so there was throttling now with the stock kernel i got this performance without using any performance script or balance script which is actually good because we get 93 percent throttling of it so the performance is really good in this device 
there is no thermal throttling and after using the thunderstorm reborn kernel because of kernel issue i got this much performance and you can see the performance was really good you can see the cpu throttle 93 percent of its max performance which is really good because again i did not use any performance script or any kind of module in geekbench 6 i got 673 single core score and 1644 multi core score and again this benchmark is without any performance script all stock but there is no support for unlimited google photo storage there is also no option for unlock higher fps in games so the games will run on the stock settings that you get in the stock rom now talking about the screen on time i got 5 hours 18 minutes of screen on time at the battery percentage of 14 percent here you can see and if we drain the 14 percent we will get 6 hours of screen on time here you can see i played call of duty for 1 hour 20 minutes so if you don't do gaming the screen on time can extend up to 7 hours which is really good and i will prefer this rom for battery backup so if you want a rom with good battery life then you can go with this rom now without further delay let's get to the gaming test so friends here you can see i have started the fps meter right here and i am on the vgmi and in the lobby it is giving around 60 fps and in the gfx tool i have kept these settings you can see the resolution is full hd smooth 60 fps and the sound quality is on ultra and the ram management is not that good you can see it was removed from the ram as soon as i switched to gfx tool but the performance is good i will show you in the gameplay so let's start an arena training So friends this screen capture is not taking much CPU usage, I have tested that, I am getting same FPS with the screen capturing or without the screen capturing. So this is why I am using this screen mirroring. The blue team has scored for the first time! you can see here we are getting around 50 to 60 fps and i am not using any screen expired You can see even without the skip there is not much frame drop. We are getting stable 50 plus FPS. And you can see it is most of the time at 58 to 60. So the performance of this round is really good. Enemy down. The blue team is in the lead. I need consumables. No mercy. So friends, you can see, even with high ping, the frame rate is not bad. 
teams, almost 55 plus. Nice shot. Reloading. Target down. Killing spree for the blue team. To win. The red team doesn't have a lot of time left. Mark it down. Blue team victory. So friends, I have started another match. Let's see the performance. And this time also there is no performance script used. Team match. Let's go. Team has scored for the first time. No mercy. Kill. Cover me. Friends, there was frame drops around 30 FPS. So friends, currently I am using the performance script and using the thunderstorm kernel because that kernel has the same performance as the stock kernel of AOSPA. So let's start an arena training. And don't forget to notice the FPS while gaming. So you can see it is close to 60 fps after using the script. Go! 
so you can see we are now getting very smooth fps at least better than before You can see the frame rate was almost around 60 fps after using the script. So friends this is it for this video. If you found this video helpful make sure to do subscribe to the channel. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.